A lot more time than yeah. I thought, so yeah. like I was like trying to figure out like where to, and it was a tight ass space too. So I'm like I started setting the lights down but I didn't even put them on like they expand and shit. Right. Now you saying why it's better to have a team of people. Mm -hmm. You get to be way more relaxed. Yeah. I felt like I was bouncing everywhere setting the lights up and doing the, I, I was doing that for like nine years bro setting the lights up doing the camera telling them what to do I'm just like oh my gosh that's that's way too much mm -hmm. I mean like it's good to master all that yeah. you know what I mean and know it so you can delegate it like oh mm -hmm. you know what I mean if you ever have to pick up that part you can be like oh well, forget it I could do it but yeah. don't nobody want to keep doing that forever man especially if you <laughs> like if you by yourself and you doing like shoots for like people that you don't really know, I yeah. would definitely say it's always good to have at least like one person with you that you yep. know like to watch after all your yep. equipment and shit. Yep. Because I like luckily I was around everybody that I knew. Yeah. But like when I came back to the room, I was like, damn, I just left my shit everywhere. Everywhere. Like, and that's a, that's a lot of money. Like, everywhere. So. Yeah, either keep that shit on you or as much as you can. Like I had a book bag, but I, I just set it down. I could just had it on my back all the time. Yeah, it Alright y'all, yeah, so y'all already know man, we here, we vlogging today. It's another day with the fam. With the boy, with the mad true vision, we here, you know. So today, uh, who we doing today? We are. I got my credit card in the mail today, so we're gonna go pick up that. Shout out Navy Fed for the twenty-five thousand dollars. We're coming back again. We're trying to get fifty next, but we're gonna get the fifty on the business side. You know what I mean? And uh, what else we gonna do? We're gonna shoot some ads today. A little bit, a little bit of advertisements. We're gonna shoot a little bit. You know, they got cars for the low ski. Yeah, I had to double tap. Come out and buy some cash. <laughs> I swear. Come out and buy some cash. But yeah, uh, what else we gonna do? We gonna be uh. Yeah, do some ads at the bank. You know what I mean? My uh. Damn, this battery go fast. My bad. My uh. My uh, website is getting built right now for my mentorship program and for my ebooks. You know what I mean? We're about to drop them. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice day. We just out here, man. Just politicking. Just getting, getting some stuff done. I got into a, a debate this morning. And look, it's crazy being like, now I'm in this whole, this area, this realm of, uh, being like a mentor and like a not a financial advisor but I just give advice you know what I mean on stuff that I learn and stuff that I know so I made a post this morning right about I be doing my reels and I just be giving people game you know what I mean I'm not gonna give you every all the game but I'm gonna give you something to, a, a, a seed to work off so I told I put I put up this post like if you want to look legit and you want your company to look fundable when you go into the bank have a professional email. Don't have a. Uh, my company is uh, truevision at gmail.com or hot sexy lady at yahoo.com. You gotta switch it up. And I made the comp and then somebody made a comment like, I don't think your email has anything to do with uh, looking professional as a business. But I'm just like. How you going first I'm like man how you gonna tell me I do this every single day all right but I didn't say that I made the comparison I said when you go on the, when you email Walmart do you email when you when you need support or customer service from Walmart do you eat do is Walmart's email Walmart at gmail.com if, if Walmart emailed you from a gmail when you think it was some fraud or some phony stuff it wouldn't, it wouldn't look legit. If you bought, bought some bought some Nikes from online and 
their support uh, email was Nike support at Yahoo. You're going to be like, what? At Yahoo, right, bro? You're going to be like, at Yahoo? So I made the comparison. I'm like, it, it's, that's just one small thing that's just going to make yourself look replicable and fundable. You know what I mean? Um, so I made that comparison. I'm like, you don't want to have a Gmail and, and a Yahoo. It makes you look not serious. It makes you not, like you're not taking your, your, your business serious. And someone was, you know, that we start going back and forth. I'm just like, damn, I guess this is what's going to happen. People think they're going, people think they know what, more than what I know. And I'm cool with people just giving out like, like, oh, bro, with this. But I, this is something that I study. This is something that I know. And these are the facts. It's a fact. It, it, it makes sense. Like, you're filling out, you're going into the bank, you're filling out paperwork, right? They're asking, what's your business's email? And you're putting your company name at yahoo.com. You're using another business for, like, it doesn't even make sense. Why? Right? There's, so that's why I'm like, get a professional email. My professional email, info at truevisionmultimedia.com. I'm sure Nike's email is like support at Nike.com. You feel me? Like it's 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 just those small things. And that's what I'm teaching people because people will try to go get funding for it. And then and then and then they made the post like, do you teach people how to get uh build a business without business credit? Why would you not want business credit? Why like why would you try to save your money to buy a, a location? Or why would you try to save your money? Like, it doesn't make any sense. All of these organizations, every business that you see has credit. Every business that you see is in debt. And when people say hear the word debt, they think it's just like a negative thing. Debt is not a negative thing. Net, debt is actually good. You're, you're leveraging money to make your business more money. So on paper, it might say you're in debt or you owe this company, you owe this bank. But if you're smart, you're using the, the funds to generate more income. You feel me? That's what you're supposed to do. That's how all these companies are leveraging. That's how all these companies are growing to the next level. Um, so that's what I'm just trying to tell people, man. It's just little stuff like that. Like getting your... your, your not having a... Uh, having an actual brick and mortar address. This is what I tell people. This is why people are walking in and, and not getting funded because they're having their home address. They're having their personal phone number. It's looking like a small business on paper. You don't, and they made, the, they made the comment like, oh, uh, only big corporations have uh, emails like that. I'm like, oh, I want a big corporation. That's what I'm headed to. I'm like, see, oh, your mindset is not even where mine is at. And I know everybody's mindset is not where mine is at, but I'm just like, this person literally said, only big corporations have emails like that. That's what I'm. That's what I want to make. That's what I'm headed to. Like you should not be small-minded and be thinking that you just can have a small business or a local business or like. Come on, man. We gotta think bigger than that. We gotta like. Walmart was an idea from someone. Amazon was an idea from someone. It wasn't like these are all ideas that someone grew. They knew about how to grow their business. They knew how to work on their business and not in their business. And that's what I do and that's what I teach. How are you going to grow your business and you working in your business every day? Answer me that. There's no way. You have to literally sit back, put people in position, and you sit back and you be the business owner and you delegate and you help the business grow. And that's what it's about, man. I've been doing this for way too long. I've been working in my business for way too long. And y'all wasn't seeing no... There wasn't no... Uh, I mean, there was no growth in my personal life. But now, y'all see me doing a lot of different stuff. Y'all seeing me do a lot of different stuff. I'm talking a lot different than I was just last year. It's because I learned something. It wasn't because I put in mad time. It's, it's no, because I learned something different. I learned how to build my business. I learned how to work on my business and not in my business. Now it's like, now you'll see me, you're like, dang, True don't even shoot more videos. Don't, True don't even shoot that many videos. But I make way more money right now than I did before when I was shooting videos every single day. How? 
I know something. I learned something. Clearly, I learned something. I know something different. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to show people. That's what I'm trying to teach people. So real quick, I'm going to run y'all down some of the things that you need to do to make your business look legit and how to get to the bag and how to, when you go to the bank and you're filling out, you're trying to get these credit cards, you're trying to level up. This is These are some of the things that you got to do, all right? So if you got business, first thing you got to do is make your business official on paper. Go get your LLC. I'll show y'all how to do that. You go through LegalZoom and do that, all right? Next thing you do is uh, you get a, a um, you're going to get your LLC, you're going to get your EIN number, all right? Your EIN number, that's like your social security number for your business, all right? Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a virtual address because you don't want to have your personal address listed on none of these documents. So you want to get a virtual address. A virtual address is literally a building that you just can use the address for and all of your business mail will go there. All right. That's literally all a virtual address is. So you get a virtual address. Boom. Now you got a Now on paper, it looked like you got a suite and you got a building. You know what I mean? So. I got an office space inside my building, but I don't even go there. I never go there. <laughs> for real, for real. I just pick up my mail. I might. What time is it? They might be. They might. The, the, the door might be locked. I don't know. But I could just literally just go there and just pick up my mail. Not a P.O. box. Not uh, not none of that because they can tell if it's a P.O. box. You want to get a virtual address. All right. Next thing you want to do. You want to get a. Uh, you want to get a toll free number. Because these. These. People, man, y'all don't understand, like, what technology rules the world, all right? So, when you're filling out these applications and everything, I, mo nine times out of ten when you're doing it online, so many people are filling out applications all over the world. Y'all really think a human being is looking at all of these applications to prove and stuff? No. There's no way a human being can do all of these. Or it don't matter if you have a staff of a thousand people. There's so many applications being sent in, and so many, so much stuff. So they created systems, and these. That's how you get uh, your 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 com a computer. Basically, a computer is approving you or or not approving you. And the the they have the system set up to where the computers know if it's a home address. Google, GPS, all of that stuff's tied in. They know if it's a a cell phone or a personal phone number. So that's why you go get yourself a toll-free number. All right, you get yourself a one eight hundred number. Every business has a one eight hundred. Every business should have a toll-free number. All right. So after that, what you do is you go get yourself a business bank account. All right. I recommend um, I recommend uh, a credit union. Cause y'all see, I just got twenty five thousand dollars on the on the on the personal side, on the credit card. But on the business side, they give double the limits because they know businesses need more money to invest. So go get yourself a business bank account. I rec I got PNC, um, Bank of America. I just got Bank of America. I'm gonna talk about that later. And I got Navy Federal. So what you can do is you can open up three different bank accounts with three different business bank accounts. All right. Boom! They might want you a hundred dollars to put put down. They might want you to put fifty dollars in the account. So you can go to each one of these banks and get business funding, business credit cards from each bank. So if you go to you set up a business bank account at Navy Federal, you can get it. Like I said, twenty five thousand dollars from them. You set up a business bank account at PNC, same thing. Go get a business credit card from them. Say you say you got. Ten thousand. So you got twenty-five. You got ten. That's a thirty-five piece. You know what I mean? You go get Bank of America. You go get another ten piece. That's forty-five thousand dollars. Easy. Where else can you go get forty-five thousand dollars from? Just from paperwork. Where else? Tell me, please. Comment below. Where else you could do that? All right. But you have to have things in order. You gotta look. Legit on paper. You don't want to look like a small business, a local boutique, a local videographer. No, you want to look like a corporation, a big business. You want to look like the big boys. So you set your business up to look like the big boys on paper. Black paperwork is literally everything. All right. Think about when 
the cops get behind you. They literally can run your name. They'll know you, but they can look at your paperwork. They can look at these digital forms and see everything about you. They don't know you personally. I got stuff on my record that makes me look like a criminal. I'm not a criminal. But if you looked at my, my, my rap sheet, if you looked at the black and white paper, you would think I was a troublemaker. Same to if you can set your business up to look a, look like a legit business on paper. What you, bro? Am I making sense, bro? <laughs> I'm t like, come on, man. Like, come on. Like, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is what people people know this information, but they ain't sharing this information. How you think people's out here getting a bag like that, man? So, go get your business bank account, set your website up, and. Those is like the, oh, and go get your DUNS number. Your DUNS number is how you start generating business credit, all right? That's how you could do it, though. But literally, these little simple steps is what you use to go get the bag, man. To go get the bag. So now you ain't got to save. I just told you how to go get $45,000. That's from the low end. That's just me being modest. Because you can really get twenty five from each bank. I just got twenty five from, I'm trying to get twenty five from each bank. If I go to four banks, it's 100K in funding. How long is it going to take for you to save, save $100,000? Like, do you even got a product that's going to bring in $100,000? You feel me? So now, what I'm going to do with this $100,000, I have all my products already set up. My ebooks are set up. My online courses are already set up. My music video business is already set up. So now, I don't even have to. And I could take... This is, I got so many options. I could take, I could take some money, 20K invested in some real estate, 30K invested in some real estate. I could take, and all this is business funding. Business funding, it don't, I ain't gonna get too deep with the reporting to the usage and all that because I might lose y'all. But just follow me of the things that I can do with the, with the, the, the funds. I can literally buy a, a red camera if I want to. I can go out and buy 10 cars and start renting them out and, and start a a, a, uh, a rental business, a car rental business. I, literally, there's the sky's the limit. I can, I can play it easy and what I'm going to do is, I'm online, I get that Wi-Fi money, I get money for, in my sleep. So I'm going to invest 10, 20K into ads and you're going to see my face everywhere. That's what I'm going to do. And people's gonna be buying my course and people's gonna be buying my books online. And that's what I suggest everybody do. Get a digital product. Because I can have a, a book. Say this is my book. I can only sell this book to as many people as I can see. You feel me? But if I get something online, whoo-hoo! It's endless how many people I can reach. You feel me? It's endless. So that's what I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all gotta start thinking different. Y'all gotta start thinking bigger, man. However you think it's think ten times bigger than that. You know what I mean? Like, it, cause the the funds is out here. I just posted on my Instagram how I do a lot of transactions through through uh, through PayPal. And PayPal, if you do high volume transactions, they will give you a loan. So I just got offered a loan for twenty two thousand dollars with PayPal. Am I gonna take it? Should I? Yeah. You feel me? It's twenty two thousand dollars. That doesn't report to my personal credit. The usage doesn't matter because they know when they give you funds for businesses, you're supposed to invest it. So it's not like my credit utilization is gonna matter. And that's just gonna help me level up even more. The extra twenty piece. Not my money. People are like, oh you gotta pay it back. Yeah, I gotta pay it back, but yeah, I'm not much money that twenty piece is just gonna make me? Just for one investment? So yeah, that's what you gotta do, man. We pulled up to the. Uh, it's my bro right here, man. He be holding it down. Pulled up to the. Uh, oh yeah, we got the studio. We're in Turtle Creek. We just pulled up. So we about to. I'm about to walk in here, and we are about to. Uh, make sure I pick up the merch. Don't shoot the shooter. We gonna pick up um, my credit card. My ceiling behind still got two cribs on deck, man. Still paying rent here. Ooh, wee. My boy got a lot of stuff. 
Let's go, mama, for change.